Without using After Effects, is it possible to create an electric effect in Premiere Pro? Let's find out! First things first, let's gather the necessary assets for our project. One hour later. So here's the deal. This clip is pretty dull. We need to bring it to life with little color correction. It's time to duplicate this clip. Just hold down the Alt or Option key and drag it to Video Track 2. Easy, right? Now that we've got our clip, let's head over to the Effects panel and type in Extract. Double click to apply it. Here's where the magic happens. In the Effect Controls panel, you can adjust the extract effect by tweaking the black and white input levels. Don't you want white color? No problem. You can change with tint effect. Now the edges of our color are a little sharp. To smooth things out, let's apply a Gaussian blur to give our color a little more pop. Let's finish it off with some VR glow. Again from effect controls panel, change the color that you prefer. And set the blurriness just enough to make it feel smooth but not too overwhelming. It's time to get rid of that black color. Simply you just need to set your blend mode to screen. For this example, I love the white glowing edges. So let's remove that tint effect. Now we've got this awesome glowing effect. But there's one more thing. We don't want the entire scene to be glowing. So let's focus that effect on our subject. Select the clip and in the opacity section, add an ellipse mask. This will allow us to target just the subject in the center of the frame. Now, increase the mask feather to 75 to smooth out the edges and adjust the mask's position and size. As our subject moves, we'll need to animate the mask to follow them. So click the stopwatch next to mask path, click on mask to highlight it again. Here's where it gets fun. Move one frame at a time, adjusting the mask to match your subject's movement. This can be a bit tedious, but the result is totally worth it. If you need to, you can always add new points to reshape the mask. Take your time and make sure it follows the action. 15 minutes later. Now for flickering effect. All you need to do is cut the duplicated clip into one frame segments, then delete every alternate frame. To take this to the next level, add some electric sound effects. Alright, what if we try something a bit different? Let's duplicate the clip again, and this time, let's experiment with the find edges effect. Again for that glow outline, let's add VR glow effect. From effect controls panel, if you check that invert option, find edges effect gives us a cool sketchy outline, but we don't have more control over this effect. Let's tweak the luma threshold to zero, and switch the blend mode to screen, and this is what you'll end up with. Not bad, right? It's a different look but we don't have as much flexibility with the color. So let's stick to the extract effect for more control. Make sure to add the extract effect before the VR glow. Make necessary adjustments on extract effect. For an extra touch, let's add this explosion sound effect. And there you have it. If you found this video helpful, you might also enjoy these.